this Tuesday, last week Tuesday, and uh, the team has a standing squad. No. Uh, having said that, they have some quality players among their rank, and uh, we really appreciate the quality they have. Players like Philip and uh, Emmanuel, the right back, they are also good in the team. a very creative midfielder, and uh, uh, the rest. So, uh, we will try to, I mean, support them give them the confidence and make sure that uh, they play to instructions and that I've seen is a, a bit of a challenge here they play what they know they don't play according to the principles of the game and this is what we be you know instilling in them for them to do the right things at whatever position they find themselves on the field of play I think it's very very important uh, I think uh, from the youth side, Ebenezer Nyan, popularly known as Melinda, is a talent, no doubt about it. Uh, he's, he's 17 years old. When uh, the first day I saw him, I immediately promoted him to the senior side. I mean, when you see talent straight away, you need to support him and make sure he achieves his, his aim. It's one talent that uh, we are looking up to. I mean, like I said, he also plays football as he knows it. But there are some minor, minor basic stuff that he needs to add up to his game to become a complete player. It's not easy, but we will try to support him from all angles and make sure we all achieve that one goal for him to become a big player for, for us and Ghana as well. And there are some specific areas definitely we need to you know uh, add up uh, positions like a striking role in the left back area and uh, we also need you know a stalwart uh, holding midfielder who can always you know protect his back four always I'm looking at you know I'm talking to some one or two players if they come uh, to really help us and uh, already the goalkeeping department we have you know brought uh, Dennis Volteri to come and you know support his colleagues so us and when we feel that uh, we have to bring in somebody definitely I'll need one quick winger I'm still looking around and uh, if I find one I'll speak to management to try and, and bring him on so apart from that, I think uh, we have a very good right back. We also have uh, some good uh, centre backs and some areas. It's not that bad, but we need to work hard to achieve our goals. Yeah, uh, the was clear. part of the Premier League all the time. Uh, we should make sure that the team is not relegated. And also trying to you know promote some young guys to come to the senior side to also showcase their talent. The real market is from the youth side, I mean the academy. You know, once we keep promoting them, uh, the publicity around the team will be good and it's good for the academy and it's good for the image of uh, the team. So we keep uh, bringing young guys to, to, to be trained here. So if they are well trained here and they get to know the principles of uh, the team to help so that yes, in case they travel to Europe, uh, they don't face a lot of challenges. You know, most of them are good, but they play for us and how they know it to be. But certain principles and certain ways to achieve our targets. So we support them in those areas and make sure we all achieve our goals. The main thing we need to do here is to see to it that the young players are brought up very, very well. Uh, we had an invitation from uh, the Togolese champions. They want 
to ask for the car to, 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 to host us in a friendly game and uh, we have accepted it even though we just started our pre-season. Uh, we see it from a different angle. We think it's an opportunity for, for our boys to be exposed. You know, the team came here to beat Mediama 1-0 and went back to Togo. The, the, gave us an invitation to come and you know, play against them before they start their craft uh, champions league. We accepted it for some few reasons because uh, we know it may not be time for our team to play high profile friendly match but we see it as an opportunity to expose our boys to international football and most of them when they get the exposure when they come to the local league, they will do well. So the scoreline will not be anything that we are looking at, but the opportunity to you know, showcase our talent there is more, more important than the scoreline. Yes, when we win, we have to win, we draw, that is okay. And when we lose, we win a wider margin. We think we are doing well, and when that happens, you rethink and restructure your team and make sure that you do the right thing before the, the, the league kicks off. So the friendly match is very, very important and crucial for us.